I mean, John, so as we finish up though, you've you've come out with eight albums. I know you've got a new one coming up, but if you were to rank your top three from your, you know, from your catalogue, not the new one, because we haven't heard it yet. So, but what would be number three, two, and one? Probably my number three would be Bonafide. Okay. You you really like Bonafide, which makes my no day. skips. Man, yeah, amazing. no skips. <laughs> no one no ever skips. says Bonafide. Hey, it is. It reminds Thank me you. of One Twelve's debut album, where it's just no skips, wow. and and Thank Tim you. and Bob did that. So I love. Yeah. But yeah, well, but, I would take the, I would take those flowers, brother. I appreciate <laughs> that. That's what's up, man. That makes my day because that's a, that those songs aren't always the ones that people you know appreciate. But uh, I would say, Bonafide would be my number three, though. Yeah. Uh, I'd say, Pleasures You Like would be number two, and number one would be Cool Relax. Is it because I mean, it's, it's the, me, the most popular? Or cool what? Relax is the album for me that those songs are the most primarily played in my show. Like I, I I have to play every single off of Cool Relax in the show or people are saying, why didn't you play Don't Say? Why didn't you play what I do? Why didn't you play They Don't Know? Why didn't you play Cool Relax? Why didn't you play? You know, so it's it's a trip because of that. I feel like that album is gets awarded the, the number one. It's not that the songs aren't, are are my favorite songs i feel like that the groundbreaking you know things in my life were on that you know working with tupac working you know tim and bob yeah working with casey and jojo okay yeah i mean yeah as i said i did a poll i had two thousand people vote and cool and relaxed by far was the number one that everyone picked. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> but people were saying, don't sleep on Head of um, the, um, Hopeless Romantic. People said, don't sleep Ooh. on Proud. And so what happens is the That's two fans dope. know the catalogue. And they're like, you know, you guys are just chasing the hits, but look at the catalogue. And, yeah. and that's where you start to get people who, like, you know, really digging in. Um, well, and, they, well in, that, in that case, then let me say the new album is number one for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. No, that's my favorite album so far. Like it's, it really is. Like I love this album. It's very grown up. It's very grown and sexy without being too grown to where I I sound like dated and old. No, it's not like that. I mean, there's some sexy records on here. This is an album you could actually take a vacation to, put it on from the very beginning. Let okay. it play all the way, eleven songs down, and let it loop back and just let it play, because it's 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 very. I made sure this album was like, we went through every song, making sure the sonics were like, they complement each other, the tempos, the keys of the records. I just there's a lot of meticulous little things I did that uh, make it what it is, and I feel very proud of proud of this one. So yeah, but it's a it's a different kind of proud. It's like. It's not a cocky proud or an aggressive proud. It's like, okay, letting your kid go to, dropping your kid off to school. You know, you've been preparing all, all summer and now it's time to go to school again. So, yeah. Are you nervous about it coming out? out? Are you nervous about it? Yeah, I am. I am because I want people to enjoy it, you know, but I know how we have, you know, music has changed so much. So there's so many different um templates of styles to kind of pay attention to and say okay that's happening right there with the trap soul that's happening right there with afro beat and with the ama piano and you know everything else that's sort of like in that nature you know and then we have r&b we got you know tank and 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 you know and lucky day and and all these amazing male artists putting out like amazing r&b records um too many to to name, I mean October London, all these different people. So it's it's a lot of there's vintage R and B made October London. You know, it's a, I mean we've got you know the hip hop thing happening. So it was just for me, it was um, really doing what I love and showing that side of myself. But you know, I did all the production on this one. It was really fun to break out the the drums again, the live drums, wow. record live drums on a lot of the songs. <laughs> Dad, watch like, me now. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 Could that would say no, it's too loud now, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's the drumming that I play is more pocket. It's more like, you know, okay. taking it back to like like the stuff I was talking about with when I first started listening to to records and stuff like that, you know. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that kind of hey, the summer in between. Or even loving us on which I didn't miss you. Oh, you know, with, uh, you know, what was it like growing up? It is a Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I was I, I love I love all different jobs.